Ah, personal brands. Back to that conversation. Should I have one? Are they worth it? Are personal brands dead? Yes, that's what I heard a little while ago. Are personal brands actually dead? No. Bottom line of it is, we want to believe in what they believe that started with the company. We like Steve Jobs. We like Jeff Bezos. We like Elon Musk. We like people that stand for something. And then we look at what they produce. Quite simply, Elon Musk could come out with an aftershave tomorrow. And I guarantee you a ton of people would buy it because he stands for something and you've got to either align with it or not. But you've got to be crystal clear. And that's what having a personal brand uh, matters to you. Now, of course, there's two types of branding. Don't get me wrong. There's community branding, which is a cult and a culture. And then there's personal branding. And they do cross over from time to time. But Tesla owners are a breed. Apple users are a breed. They are the cult-like culture that has been designed by the groups themselves. That started from the why of the founders, of those people that actually stood up and go, this is what I stand for. Now, I'm asking you about your personal brand. What does yours say about you? Now, if you're out there going, I haven't developed a personal brand, well, let me break it to you, mate. You have a brand. You've just got to ask yourself, are you in control of that narrative? People are already talking about you. People already have an opinion about you. People already talk about uh, about you to other people. But what are they saying? And if you're not populating that narrative, if you're not out there actually saying what you stand for and who you are, maybe it's misinformation. So the bottom line about it is, what is a brand? A brand is what people say about you when you are no longer in the room. Therefore, what are you saying that allows them to pass on the correct and accurate information? Personal brands are far from dead. We have not seen the end of personal brands, and we are going to get stronger with people standing up for what they actually believe in. You've got to be in control of your brand. Pay attention to it, and don't let it be a free-for-one. Certainly do not let someone else design your brand.